Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I'm bringing you a tour of another world, and this is a world that was built by a tall Soviet, and he does look pretty tall actually, if you look at him, he is uh, a relatively tall Soviet, he's ever so slightly taller than me. I think I just about win though, because of my ears, I got quite sticky up pointy ears, so uh, I think I win on the height front. He's got quite a nice hat though. <laughs> anyway, this is a city which is called Novikov, or Novikov something along those lines and uh, this is a community world uh, that as I said run by tall Soviet and uh, there's a couple of the people uh, that assist him there but he did say there's about 30 people uh, that build on this community world so it's pretty big and uh, apparently it is growing every day so let me just show you quickly uh, what it looks like on the map before we venture outside so yeah uh, it's pretty big and uh, as he said, they build pretty much something new every single day. So it's definitely uh, a growing city, but it already uh, looks pretty awesome. But I've not really seen any of it. I've only seen it in pictures uh, that he sent me to my Facebook page. So I'm kind of excited uh, to get outside and see it for myself. And uh, what does this say here? Uh, Novikov City is growing every single day and will not be finished until it covers the whole map. Want to be part of this? Add a tall Soviet. So yeah, if you wanted to uh, join in on this community world, uh, then send a tall Soviet uh, a message and you could maybe join in in this community world. But uh, bear in mind, he probably gets sent quite a lot of messages, so don't get annoyed uh, if he can't reply to all of you. But uh, I'm sure he does want uh, some people to help out. And here we go, into the city. And this is going to be half me wandering around by myself and half him uh, showing me round. He said he likes it when I just sort of explore and get sidetracked and do what I want to do. Uh, but he said that if there's something specific he wants to show me, uh, he's going to try and get my attention somehow. And oh, is this, is this a shop or something? Is there a sign? Um, I can't actually see. I'm assuming this is some sort of supermarket. Yeah, look, here are the checkouts. Here are all of the tills here. And uh, what's in stock then? What can we buy? Whoa, loads of raw chicken. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be kept in some sort of freezer, not just a big chest. Uh, I could buy some apples. Could buy some juicy melons. Or buy some fish. Here we go. This is for me. Let's let's go eat myself some fish. <laughs> nom, 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 <laughs> Oh, I love it. It looks quite realistic, actually. I think that the till should be done with um with stairs, though. If you want to make good tills, the way I recommend doing it is uh, use some sort of like stone stair, something like that. I, th I think that looks kind of a bit like a till, doesn't it? It looks quite good, though. Oh uh, yeah, can I buy buy this fish, please, sir? I'd like to buy one fish, and uh, I believe that is one gold piece. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Can I can I have the fish back? Can I can I, can I have my fish? I, I bought it. I paid for that fish. Can I have my fish, please? <laughs> I think he can't pick up my money, so he's refusing to give me my fish. <laughs> okay, you can hold on to my fish for now. I'll, I'll find some later on. <laughs> I'll stay a hungry pussy cat then for the rest of the video. <laughs> and uh, I'm loving the city already. I'm loving the, the modern look. I like it when they build kind of cars and stuff. And because it is a community world, it's it's a lived-in world. You know, there's people that are going to have their own little houses and stuff. And I always like that. Pokemon Museum? Hell yeah! I love Pokemon. Oh, look! Look, can you see the massive Pokeball there? Oh, look at it! How awesome is this? they got a Pokemon Museum. <laughs> is there going to be, like, rare bones and, like, rare artifacts from, like, deceased Pokemon? You know, like, inst uh... <laughs> Um, instinct Pokemon. Instinct? Um, oh look, oh look, there, there, there's Charmander. And there's Bulbasaur. This is a good test on my Pokemon knowledge, isn't it? I'm sure there's going to be some I'm not going to know. <laughs> Everyone knows who that is. There's Pikachu. And here, okay, this is where we're going to go outside of my territory. I only ever played uh, the first two Pokemon games. Well, red and blue and yellow, which were all kind of the same game, weren't they? With a different colour cartridge. <laughs> why, why were mums talked into buying the same game twice because it's got a different colour cartridge? <laughs> yeah, so I have no idea who that is. Uh, no idea who that is. Uh, oh, I know who that is, like... Uh, like, uh, Abba, or, no, is it Abba? No, that's a, that's a group. Uh, Kadabra, Abra Kazam, it's something along like that. It's, it's like, higgery pokery diddly do. Something along those lines, it's called. Uh, oh, that's a, a centipede, caterpie? Caterpie, I believe that's called. And, uh, oh, look, there's, there's Ash. That's, that's Ash, the main character, or whatever he was called. I think he was called Blue in my game. What I always like doing in Pokemon games, and just games when you can name yourself, is naming yourself, like, an inanimate object. Like, if I called myself a television, and then when I first start in the game, I tried to turn on the TV, it would say, a TV turned on the TV, and that always made me laugh, so I always gave myself really stupid names. And that is, oh, is that a, um, 
That's the fish, isn't it? Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, come on, this is probably annoying you that I don't know the name of it. I know, though. Um, I keep thinking Psyduck, but it's not Psyduck, of course, it's a fish. Um, oh, I got, I got, oh, Magikarp, that's the one. I'd have been so annoyed if I, if I couldn't work that out. <laughs> Shall I add to it? Shall I improve it? Shall I give it a moustache? I think if you gave a Magikarp a moustache, it would look like, like an evil genius or something, wouldn't it? If I go like, uh, that, and then up like that, does it look like it's got a moustache? Kinda, <laughs> not really. What about if I just make it evil? What if I give it a red eye? Would that make it look really evil? And uh, don't worry, by the way, he's not saving the game, so I'm not griefing. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's an evil magic art now. That, that's kind of spooky. I should give it bubbles as well if I make bubbles come out its mouth. If I use cobweb, um, oh, where would I put my cobweb? Did I get cobweb? Here it is. Yeah, if, if I use cobweb, I can make it look like it's got bubbles coming out of its <laughs> out of its mouth. Like the thing with magic carp, it was always the really rubbish one that could like only do splash. So there it is splashing up and down. And then what does this sign say? Uh, will be longer. Okay, I guess this is a, a work in progress. I guess they're gonna do uh, more Pokemon further down there. What would be really cool is like a Pokemon- Oh no, he just burnt my fish! That was my ball, that! I, I want a refund! He burnt my fish! Sad face. Oh, I, I paid for that. I want a refund at all, Sovia. He, he blatantly just waited for me to turn around so I'd, he'd see me burning his fish. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, what would be really cool is like a Pokemon battle arena. You know, like those, like those Pokemon games that you could get, like uh, Pokemon Coliseum or something along those lines? Like someone could build a big battling Pokemon stadium and then you could have spawn eggs and you throw the spawn eggs down as if you're sending out a Pokemon. Then you could have like a creeper battling a skeleton and something like that. And then someone could send out a ghast. Oh, that would be so cool. I want to do that. Well, actually, I, I don't because uh, I can't do it because I only play on survival, not creative. But if someone builds me a Pokemon battling arena and invites me in for a battle and promises a gym badge if I beat them, I'll come and do that and I'll record that because that would be absolutely amazing. I would love that. And also, is this some sort of cafe or something? Uh, I guess this is the uh, the kitchen in here. I guess this is the storeroom. Right, have they got any fish? Have you got any fish back here? Because I, I want to get my fish back. No, there isn't. Okay, what I am going to do is when he turns around, I'm going to hide some cake down here and hopefully he'll not know. Is he looking? Yeah, he's not looking. He's not looking. Right, quick, hide it down there. Oh no, I can't, I can't get at the chest in the way. There we go. I got it. I got it. Nothing, nothing. I wasn't hiding cake. <laughs> if you haven't seen any of my recent videos, you won't know that uh, when I tour people's world, uh, I have a new tradition of hiding cake around the place. I call it stamping their world. <laughs> this world has now been stampeded. <laughs> Sounds a bit like stampeded, doesn't it? But it's not quite as destructive as that. And all someone put down a censored sign. Someone was naughty. <laughs> yeah, so basically what I do is I go and hide cake around their world uh, without the host noticing. And it, I don't know, it just, it just makes things a bit more fun. For me, at least, anyway. They're the people that have to go around sweeping up all of the cake crumbs once I've left. <laughs> yeah, so definitely do that to your friend's world. It's just quite fun. It's like the most friendly way to grieve someone's world, isn't it? And here we go. And so we've got ourselves a basketball court. <laughs> is that the basketball, is it? <laughs> right, okay, let's let's see if I can score. Right, let's let's do let's do a running jump and see if I can go and get a slam dump. Ah, boo! Yay! I did it and I didn't have to cheat and fly at all. Congratulations, me. <laughs> and then let's just try and get it back down. There we go. <laughs> Jolly good. There could be quite a cool game you could actually do with that. Where like throwing items down and then like it flapping down and then they drop. You know, you could do kind of like a like a fruit machine or a slot machine, whatever you call them. And uh, doing it so like items flap down and depending on where they fall. Uh, there could be something to do with that. Uh, use the bins. Um, okay, let me let me throw my basketball in the bin. Oh, is this the bin here? Oh, the cauldrons. I see. These are the bins. Are oh, we keeping it? We're keeping the place nice and tidy, aren't we? And oh, what's this thing in here? It's just a bit of a weird, very bright, empty room. As I, as I did say, this world is a work in progress. So I don't know uh, whether all of the buildings are completely furnished or not. But so far, they seem to have been adding quite a lot of fine detail. And I always love the water when it's lit up by glowstone. It always looks very pretty when it's done like that. And I still need to build a park in my world. Like, I got my, my fun land, which is kind of a theme park, but I don't have, like, a, a proper kiddie park or just, I don't know, a place to, to be at one with nature. <laughs> and here we've got a massive slide, which you can kind of run down. <laughs> we run down it together. Uh, a couple swings here, which I can stand on and jump up and down on because this is Minecraft and things don't tend to swing. <laughs> it's quite cool. And here we go. We've got some monkey bars as well where I can... 
jump underneath them. I wish you could play properly in all of this stuff. I wish I wish they added mods to Xbox version so you could play on parks. And uh, here we have a nice little area where you can chill out. You could, I don't know, maybe go fishing. So I go fishing? So I try and get that fish back, which he wasted. Um, where's fishing rod? It'll be here somewhere. Right, let, let, me, let me try and go do a fishing. We'll have a fishing competition. First person to catch a fish wins a fish. Right, bring it on. Let's go, let's go, let's do it. Oh, uh, I don't I don't think he can catch one. You can only catch fish when the little thingy is bobbing up and down. If it's not bobbing up and down, that means you've got no chance of getting fish. Oh, look, I just got two. Oh, I got three. Oh, look, they're all jumping up. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> that's cheating. You can't catch fish if you throw the fish in the water, then just go and pick it back up again. That's cheating. I want to catch a proper real fish. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I got one chance, I'm gonna one swing, and if I don't get it, I'm a failure. And if I do get it, then I'm the most incredible Mr. Stampy Cat in all of the land. Right, here we go. Come on, fishies! Fishies! Actually, I need, I need to speak fish language. Uh, if you can't speak fish, uh, what I was doing was promising the, uh, the fish cake uh, if it joined me. Here we go! Yeah, I got one! There you go, fish! You can have some cake, there you go! <laughs> We're gonna come back in a few minutes and there's just gonna be a few crumbs there. There'll just be one cherry where that cake used to be. It's like a piranha when you see like it eating an animal and there's just like the skeleton, like the bones at the end. It'll be like that but with the cake, just the remnants of the cake. And here we go, we can play some, some tennis, shall we? Um, what should we use then? I, I guess yellow wool would be the best thing. There we go, let's play some tennis. Yeah, I swear every world I tour I end up playing like tennis and football and all of the silly games <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to play with two balls. It's kind of like a juggling act You know when people try and throw balls and like they keep switching it between them. That's kind of what we're doing <laughs> Oh, okay. Tell what mate you win you win. I'm done with tennis. Uh, what's in here? Uh, just some some lime green wool randomly. <laughs> Is it, it's kind of like a tree but inside of like <laughs> inside of a chest <laughs> Anyway, anyway, moving on. Okay, he's trying to get my attention. I told him uh, to get my attention by firing arrows. <laughs> I kind of meant him to fire them at where he wants me to go rather than firing them at me, though. I think he kind of misunderstood that. And what I'm very going to uh, do very quickly is uh, shove down a couple beds uh, so we can have a quick nap uh, just because... Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of this world which isn't lit up, so uh, I think I'd rather walk around it in the day. J just so we can see it all. Just so the sun is shining, we have another pretty day uh, here in uh, this city, which I already can't remember the name. Was it Novakov or something like that? Something something along those lines. Uh, if you didn't guess, it's all Soviet. Uh, is actually from Russia, uh, from Moscow. Uh, although I believe he's currently living in Poland, so um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the things are going to be named words that I can't properly uh, pronounce, so sorry about that for any uh, other Russians that may be watching in this video and where are we now is this like a construction site yeah look there's a massive crane there lifting up a big cube <laughs> why not no i guess this is this is a place under construction then i feel like i should have a hard hat walking around here just to stay protected put a helmet on shall i put a helmet on shall i uh, what type of helmet shall i have i have a gold helmet why not uh, only the best there we go I, I feel better protected now do i look like a workman do i look like some sort of builder or something i should probably put like a like an orange vest on or something should i put an orange vest on as well uh, a high vis vest just so people can see me there we go, there we go. I feel I feel much safer now working around in this area. <laughs> anyway, what was this thing through here? Uh, not finished. Um, I can kind of see that by the, the massive work site outside the front. <laughs> and what is this place, though? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I guess it's going to be a massive office building or some sort of uh, tall skyscraper of some sort, but it uh, seems like they've only got the uh, the reception done so far, which which is fair enough. Uh, as I said, this is still a work in progress, but uh, it will probably grow pretty quick because uh, there's quite a lot of people working on it. So uh, what I probably will do once I've... Oh, is this a battle arena? Uh, yeah, what I probably will do uh, once I've finished drawing this world is wait a few months, then come back and see uh, how much it's changed. Choose your Pokemon! Oh my god! He's literally built exactly what I was talking about earlier. Oh, what shall I go for? Uh, pig, sheep, cow, chicken, or squid. Oh, wolf, wolf. Right, I'm going to have a squid and a wolf. Okay, I need to make up Pokemon names. So I'm going to have a... Um, I'm going to have a squid -a toto and a... a dog -a -foo. So I got a squid -a toto and a dog -a -foo. Oh no! He used the mighty mushroom! <laughs> go squid! Go! Attack! Use ink squirt! 
Use Ink Squirt quickly. Finish him off. Oh, look, he's attacking a tall Soviet. It was super effective. <laughs> right. Um, Squid a tro, whatever I decided to call you. You're not good enough. Go, Wolf Pokemon. Go, 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 go. Go get him. Go on, attack him. What's the Mushroo doing? <laughs> Don't burn those mushrooms. I'm going to want to eat them later. <laughs> the Mushroom's tr the mushroom's trying to escape. Oh, no, he burned. <laughs> he burned. He managed to jump over and he burned. Wolf, stay safe. Quick, look after each other. You can stick together. Oh, no, no, no. He's, he's attacking a tall Soviet. You snowball. It's super effective. Should I tame the wolf? Should I get the wolf on my side? Um, oh, but where are bones? Where are bones? I can never find bones. I always send ages. Are they here? Um, here we go. Here, here are bones. Let's see if I can tame the wolf and have it come round with me. Come on, be my friend, be my friend. Don't go near the lava. I don't want to lose you yet. <laughs> I'm going to call this dog... I, d I don't know. I feel like I should call it something Pokemon related because it's supposed to be a Pokemon dog. Let's stay away from the lava, right? Let's get it out of here first before we worry about naming it. Uh, let, let's get out of here. Come on, wolf. Please, please don't burn. Wolfie, teleport. No, he's on fire. He's on fire. No, don't run back into the lava. Come back here. Run into the water. Run into the water. Good boy. He's a smart dog. I've never seen a dog be that smart before. I'm going to call it um, Brains. I'm going to call this Brains the dog because he's very intelligent. The world's first intelligent Minecraft dog. Well, I never. <laughs> Come on, Brains. You can join me. And my challenge is to keep you alive. Uh, for the rest of the tour without dying because um, if you've seen a few of my videos you will know that I've got a, a bit of a bad track record with dogs in the past. <laughs> they generally don't last for too long. Anyway, uh, he's still with me though. Uh, I still got Brains. Uh, Brains, my my Pokemon dog. And yeah, we, we can we can move on. We can move on uh, to go and check out something else. There seems to be uh, a massive ice hockey stadium over there. Um, oh look, there's a massive plane in the sky up there. Look at that. Oh, I want to fly the plane later. I should so do that. Uh, but it seems we're going into some sort of tall grey building. Why? Do we see the, the massive NHL stadium? The massive ice, like, hockey stadium? We see a huge plane, and then we decide to climb this, this grey, dull, bland building. There better be something good up here. This better be worth my time, because this is a very boring staircase. Oh, we can get a good view! Oh, there's a nice little seating area. This is like my first chance to look over the city. There we go. There's the ice hockey stadium. There's a weird sort of antenna tower there. Seems to be some apartment blocks. Uh, that's the um, the place where they were building. That's like the work site. Is that the Google Chrome logo over there? I think that is the Google Chrome logo, but back to front. I think if I looked at it from the other side, it would look right. And um, there's some gold buildings there. There's the massive plane. I don't, I don't know where to go next. I, I guess I should jump down. I don't want to go back down those stairs. Is there anywhere safe to land? Nope, looks like we're just jumping down here. All right, let's do it. Woo! Come on, Brains. Come and teleport to me. You don't jump off. Brains? Hello? Brains? Brains? What a rubbish day in front of dog. Brains? Come on, smarty pants. Come on. Brains? Oh, where did Brains go? I haven't lost him already. Oh, there he is. There he is. Have some pork chops. Why not? There we go. Okay, moving on. Okay, I guess now we're going to go into the, uh, the the giant ice hockey stadium. Now we can go and uh, check out something more exciting. And have a game of ice hockey. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go in. Oh, it's very big. Oh, look at the size of this place. And oh, there's the massive screens there where they have, like, the scoreboards and stuff. Here are all of the stands. All right, Brains, you can come on here and you can cheer me on. You can be my mascot. Let's see if I can if I can jump over this glass. Come on, big jump. Oh, no. i got to make that. I think that jump is very possible. I need to get into sprint mode and go. There we go. And here we go. Here's the putt. Here's the putt we need to try and score. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> I don't think they start ice hockey games by saying ready, steady, go. This is no race. Come on, I gotta get it in. I gotta get it in. Go, 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 go. Not quite. <laughs> I think he might be trying to let me score. Oh no, he's stopping me. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh no, no, that's cheating. That's, you're not allowed to do that. That is not in the ice hockey rules. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you win, but you cheated. <laughs> oh, this is quite cool, though. I do quite like this. They've even got all, like, the proper rings and that. They've not just uh, covered it with ice. And I guess this is how we get out. <laughs> I think you might have just broke that. Did you enjoy that, Brains? Did you, did you enjoy the game? I don't, I don't think he was very interested, to be honest. <laughs> I think he'd rather be doing some maps or something, seeing as he is the intelligent dog. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, sadly, we have just about run out of time in this video. But don't worry, uh, there will be a few videos in this series touring this world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to part number two of this Let's Play, which should be up uh, within about 
three, maybe four days from when this one was up. Uh, so if you just check back to my channel in a few days, uh, you can see part number two of this tour and we can go and see the rest of the city. Uh, sadly though, as I did say, that is the end of this video. So it's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from a tall Soviet, and of course it's also goodbye from Brains. Bye!